welcome to another episode of Getting to Know. We're joined by women tennis sophomore Brianna Gonzalez. Brianna, thanks for chatting with me today. No problem. How have things been going in your world post-pandemic or mid-pandemic, really? They've been okay. Uh, like I said before, you know, I'm, I'm fine staying home. I'm a homebody. So, like, listening to music, watching TV, or spending time with my family, like, that, I have no problem with that, you know. Definitely do need alone time sometimes, though, because they get overwhelming. But, you know, it's been fine. This is the introvert's time to shine. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but then also at the same time, it's kind of like, Now I have a whole bunch of people around me, so I still need my alone time, you know. Understandable, for sure. Mm -hmm. So you've had two years on the tennis team, and it's been two of the better years to be on the tennis team at Malloy. You guys won the Lions Cup two years ago. You made the playoffs this year. What's your experience as a student athlete? How do you describe that so far? Um, It's... Honestly, it's something that I didn't really experience in high school. I feel like I'm definitely appreciated a lot more and kind of given, you know, I'm kind of highlighted a little bit more than I was in high school. It's kind of a far cry from what I used to experience. Um, But it's nice, though, because, like, uh, I was actually just talking to my coach about it before. He's like, you know, we're being recognized for our accomplishments. People kind of look to us and they're kind of like, oh, wow, you guys are doing something as opposed to these past few years where maybe you weren't as, as good as you're getting now, you know, and it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's nice. So talk to me a little bit about this season. You guys were doing really well. I had a string of wins in conference play down the stretch. And then it comes to that senior day game with Roberts Wesley and a new clinch the playoff spot, which is yeah. huge. Talk to me about the season in general, but that game and like, did you know that that was a situation that you were in and kind of how that felt? Um, well, I mean, the season kind of started off slow as like, I feel like it usually does. We kind of had to take a little bit to get the ball rolling. But um, I remember when coach told us that we kind of needed this to get a playoff, like get into the playoffs. I was like, oh, I mean, like we played Roberts Wesley in the, the previous year and we kind of got crushed by them. So I was a little like, oh, you know, whatever happens, happens. I'm going to go out on the court and I'm going to lay it all there. And I remember I was playing doubles with my partner, Sammy, and we were doing well. And then we, I don't know, somewhere we just lost it. And I was like, just so like, ugh, I was just so in my head. And I was like, really just down on myself. And I kind of made this face. And I remember walking up to Sarah and she was like, don't make that face. And I'm like, what? She was just like, you need to be more positive. And so I was going into my singles match and I was like, I don't don't know. I was like, let me just take it point by point. And then I ended up winning and I ended up actually winning the defining match. And I was, it was just like a really, it was just a really good moment. I feel like that was one of the best matches that I've ever played. And I was just so happy with how it went. And I feel like we all did like a really good job, whether we won or lost, we kind of just laid it all um, out on the court. And I was just really proud of us for that day. I talked to your coach a little bit about what is different playing in the playoff because the structure is so different in that it just, once the match is decided, it stops, doesn't matter where you are. What do you do with your own mindset going into that? How do you kind of navigate that? Um, I feel like that was a little bit more difficult for me because when we were playing Queens, um, like Queens is great. Queens is a great team. And when I was just playing them, I was like, uh, you know, I kind of just have to have whatever happened happen. And I think I was one of the first people to finish my match and I lost and I was like, you know, it is what it is. And I was like, but that doesn't mean that I didn't try. You know, I, I, even though it didn't go the way that I wanted it to, I definitely didn't hand it to her. Um, and I kind of just had to live with that, you know? Absolutely. So then, you know, I, the spring portion of a season is always so important, even though it is considered non-championship. Mm-hmm. What was your reaction to kind of finding out that you guys weren't going to get to have that this year? Um, I feel like I definitely react to things after they happen as opposed to in the moment. So it was kind of, it was kind of rough find like kind of just realizing like, wow, I'm not going to have a season. I'm not going to be able to hang out with my teammates. We're not going to have, you know, our spring, which I feel like is definitely, um, um, a good time to like, not to say that we didn't bond during the fall. I think we, we spent like so much time together, but I feel like not having those matches and not having to be forced to be together is a good time for us to just connect and be together because we want to be. 
and we, we couldn't have that, and it kind of sucked, but, I mean, in the moment, I was like, you know, I, was, I wasn't, actually wasn't playing that, that great at the time, so I was like, Ugh. you know, it was frustrating to not be playing so well, so it didn't really bother me in the moment, but afterwards, it did hit. And then, of course, you know, I know recently we got the news that we will not be competing in the fall. Um, how does that kind of, how do you keep motivated for when you can get back on the court? Um, well, I mean, like, I haven't been able, to pl- been able to play, like, right now, but I do want to get back out on the court. I have been working out, so I'm kind of just trying to get myself to a uh, a really like into really good shape so that when I do get back out on the court I'm like ready for it ready to play matches ready to you know do conditioning all that good stuff so I think being active staying active definitely gets me motivated uh for the season when it does come so assuming that we can get back on and have a spring season as planned what are some of your goals as a team and as an individual um I just think keep going up because you know there's really no other place we can go you know we went from years ago to not winning a single match in the last the previous year we like were this close to playoffs and then this past year we made playoffs so I I just I just want us to keep going up and keep getting better well said so we're going to move into what we call rapid fire they're more about you they can either be the first thing that comes into your head or if there's a phrase or something like that um anything works. They're kind of your rules and how you want to interpret them. Do you have any kind of pregame routine or superstitions when you're on the court that you kind of have to do that it's your, your thing? Um, I kind of, I feel like I'm a little superstitious when it's, when it comes to like wearing certain things. So like if I'm wearing like my long sleeve and it starts to get hot, I'm like, I'm doing well. So I need to keep wearing the long sleeve. Like even if, even if I'm dying, I'm just like, I need to keep wearing it. So if you win wearing the long sleeves, you wear it again the next match too because you can't change it up? Not that, but it's just like, it's more so in the moment. I have uh, in the moment superstitions. I got you. Okay. So what song really gets you going? Like if you had to listen to right before your match, what's your go-to song? I don't really have any like go-to song specifically, but Sammy loves to play a lot of Pitbull. So we're always listening to Pitbull and that does get me pumped up. So I love that. Do you have a favorite team to play against? And do you have a favorite place to play, especially because you guys do play indoor and outdoor? Favorite team to play against? I feel like um, Damon. I do, I do think uh, when, I played, when I played Damon, it was like I really met my match. It, was, it wasn't like an easy or like she kicked my butt. It was like we kind of just went back and forth, and that was good. Um, and I also liked going upstate like um, to Damon and Roberts Wesleyan. So that was like fun. We had, uh, I think we had a three, three day trip for that. So, Thanks. Yeah. I've heard that you have a knack for impressions. <laughs> I don't put you on the spot so much, but I've heard that you do the referee pretty well. Um, I guess, like I kind of just came up with it. Like it, it almost sounds like she smokes three packs a day, but that's not exactly how she talks. It just, it kind of came to my head. But yeah, um, our favorite ref, Barbara, she's always like, um, what does she say? She's like, I I know we're not going to have a problem here, but I just want to make sure, you know, everybody calls out the score. Um, (laughs) You know, uh, I just want to make sure everybody, no foot faults. If, you know, if you, if I get, um, I don't know, she just always has certain things to say. And I'm like, you know, I'm listening, but like, I never made, like, I never have any problems. So, you know, whatever. At first, I think she scared me, but then afterwards, we became really fond of her. So I just, I always do that whenever we talk about her. I was going to say, it's a it's good taste of an impression. It's it's loving. Yeah, it's not, it's not how she speaks, like, at all. It's just, <laughs> like, it's just how I interpret her. So where is your favorite place to eat, either on campus or around campus? You have a lot of choices with the AR or Public Square or um, Fairings, Touch of Italy, Curbside mm-hmm. of What's yeah, um, your go to? Definitely curbside. Um, Bearings has a lot of options, and I like the chicken teriyaki bowl at Quick Bite Cafe. Love that. So, those are probably yeah, some of my favorite places. Do you have a favorite pregame meal or snack, mm-hmm. whatever it is? I, can't, I always get like really just nervous and anxious before a match, so I try not to eat, which is probably not the best option, but I'm like, I get to reward myself after I play. That's a good strategy. 
Yeah. Um, so during this time, everybody's been watching different things on different streaming services. Do you have any shows that you've been watching or that you're currently watching or lined up? Um, well, they just recently put Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix, and um, it's one of my favorite shows, so I've been watching that. Um, I've also been watching Glee, uh, Guilty Pleasure, and I don't know if there's anything else, but like just mostly those two right now. Okay, cool. Well, thank you so much. It was nice getting to know you a little bit and getting to catch up with all of this distance situation that we're all in. And hopefully we're all able to be back in the same yeah. space somewhat soon. Yeah. Well, enjoy the rest of your summer and thank you again. Thank you.